Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here for episode 3 of Black Desert Online. As you see, we've been leveling up. We're now level 17, almost level. We're, we're getting close to 20. And this episode, I'll be obviously showing some gameplay as I level up. And I'll also be um, giving you guys some information about the game that I've learned so far. Alright guys, the first thing I would like to talk about that I've discovered, and also we're doing some research, is... In this game, most of the experience comes from killing guys instead of quests. Quests give little experience, but the main experience is killing the guys for the quest. Which is really weird for most games I've played, since most games is just grind out quests, get experience, get it done. This game's all about the killing of the, um, of the NPCs in the game. Which is a really neat aspect, I find. It doesn't always evolve with just grinding out the quest. The storyline is just part of it now. Second of all, um, I found out about amounts a bit. There's horses, donkeys, all that. You guys seen that in previous videos. But there's also no flying mounts, which is really cool. One game is like that I have played a lot of is WoW, and flying mounts everywhere. Okay, flying mounts in like the Outlands, all that was good. But flying mounts everywhere in the whole world ruined the game. It just took out a lot of aspects, and I find this game will be doing that because there is no flying mounts. So that's always nice. Um, another point is this game is a sandbox game, which is really cool because it sort of you shape how the game plays out for you which is really neat a lot of games I find are doing this nowadays and it just adds to the fun and creativity you can create in this game because you're sort of making it up yourself next thing I've discovered is well all you guys are probably wondering is since I'm only level 17, um, what the max level is. I was wondering it too. Um, you guys aren't the only ones. Um, and what I've discovered is this game actually is different and, oh Jesus, sorry, this game is actually different and doesn't have a max level, which you guys might find weird. I found it weird, but yeah, it doesn't have a max level. It says um, you gain to level 50 just like any other game, but after level 50, you could still level, but it just gets increasingly harder and harder so that is different than any I I game i found that, that's also this weird though that they did that game. no level cap like is that how would pvp work like yeah oh i did not mean to use that spell that's on a cooldown <laughs> but how would pvp work like obviously there's gotta be level caps but as soon as you get higher level there's not ne not nearly gonna be as much guys as there is lower levels Sorry, I'm just trying to look. There's a patrol and a wizard. But there's so many guys. Oh god. Oh fuck. <laughs> I just aggroed seven guys. Yeah, so not having a level cap could be weird. Like, um, as I said before, PvP aspect, PvE even. What if you're level 60 and everyone else is level 40 and you're doing the dungeon? Like, would you just do significantly more damage? Or they, they have to scale it down somehow. Or do something. But, hopefully it works out. This game seems like they know what they're doing. Oh fuck. Jesus. That's one thing about this game, there's so many mobs, it's crazy. They spawn so fast, so you just aggro them all over the place. One thing that I personally have noticed without looking up is, this game is all about talking to other people. Like, like I, I'm not talking about like, well, yeah, human people, but NPCs is a big thing in this game. If you don't talk to everyone, you won't gain enough knowledge to talk to the next person in the quest. And the game just gets harder from there. Like, if my thing, if you're just getting into this game, talk to every NPC you can. Maybe not so much the villagers, because like, yeah, it's a villager, like, fuck, who cares? They don't really have anything to say, but any peop person, vendor, main quest guy, just talk to them. Get their, you get, um... I kept calling it intelligence, but it's knowledge. You get their knowledge on them, and then that just increases what you can do in the game, opens up more quests, and then just does more for you. So that's always good. Um, I haven't done it yet, because I don't really know how yet. So I will be finding out. Um, there's also common skills in this game, such as like cooking, alchemy, crafting, all that. 
soon as I find out how, I'll obviously be posting a video on that, but for right now, it's just leveling up, trying to get a feel for the game. So far, the game's actually been pretty good. I like it. It's keeping me hooked. Like, I keep playing. So it's always as hard as the mobs, man. There's so many. Like, I don't want to aggro them. But this guy's a ranger, too, so it's hard. There we go. Oh, did I just jump over that guy? See, the rolls and combat flips are good. I don't think I'm high enough level yet, but I did find out there are dungeons in this, which is obviously expected. Like, what else would you do if there's no dungeons or PvP system? I think right now the PvP system is open world in certain areas, which is kind of also risky because. Again, someone with way higher level could just gank you, and that's no fun, ever. But, it also could work out with Guild Wars. The main thing I found out that looked... Come on, is this a patrol? Yeah, it is. Boy. But, sorry. But the main thing I found out that was really going to be cool was Castle Wars. And what I mean by that is, guilds can fight other guilds, obviously, which is a real cool aspect. Um, yeah, guilds fight other guilds, and castle wars, each guild has a castle, and one person, the one guild will obviously siege, and obviously the other guild will defend. But yeah, you're using, um, barbarding the gates, using ladders to scale the walls, just as your person, which is really sick. That's a neat aspect of the game, like, I can't wait to try that out. And the other one's defending it, preventing people from invading, which is sick. That like that that's just a great aspect of the game. That just it brings a whole new level. Alright boys. We're back facing the rebels fucking boss and he is kicking my ass here. But we finally got some health potions. We ran out for the last six seconds. We got Gandalf the motherfucking grey right there. I don't think he's really doing anything because I don't think he can help me. Come on, get up, get up, get up, bitch! Come on! I'm gonna die. Oh my god, not again. Oh my god, yes, he's stuck on the tree. Wait, can I just do this? Oh no, he found a way. He found a way. Come on, run, run, run. Special ability now. There we go, nice stuff. Oh, fuck, he still got me? Oh, dog, get wrecked, son. Oh fuck! No 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 no! Come on come on come on! Come on! Come on! Run! Run! Run downhill! Come on! Definitely the hardest boss I ever. Well, obviously, cause he's a fucking cold this one. Soul of it. Come on! Come on, wild herb! It's not the time. Not the time to be collecting wild herb. Dodge, come on. Oh, fuck. Wrong spell. This is my sick ghost demon form. Come on. I can only use that like every five minutes. Come on. I don't know if he reset them. I really hope not. Oh, fuck. That was my fault. That was stupid me use that and this ability. Come on. This rock's my best friend. He needs I think he needs a bigger tank. Look at him. Oh no. Oh fuck. Come on. There's so much there. I don't even know what his health is at or anything. That's the hard part of this game. Jesus. Come on. Oh, fucking finally. That's right. Defeat a powerful enemy. It's now at peace. I don't know what's going on with his head. It's flashing blue. All right, guys. That's enough for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, I answered some questions on this game. That was just what I found out so far. So, if you want, comment below and see what you guys have found out if you guys play this game. I'll see you guys in the next video.